Santa Humpa, Muri Rava Fupa Jibampawula, Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Odmishka. Chikospa inigudad ijigliska chanagawa. I'm Supreme Commander Rands of the Republic. It's an honor to speak with someone who's done so much to help the cause. By defeating the Emperor, you've dealt a crippling blow to his followers. You've single-handedly turned the tide of this war. The Republic already owes you a debt it can never repay. But I'm calling because we need your help again. Give me the mission and I'll get right on it. As a Jedi, I'm sure you're familiar with the ice world of Ilum. It's one of the galaxy's primary sources of lightsaber crystals. The remnants of the Empire's forces have invaded Ilum en masse. We sent reinforcements, but they're getting overwhelmed. Once I get there, we'll drive the Empire off Ilum. Just like we drove them off Corellia. This mission's different. The Empire's not trying to capture Ilum. This is a raid, and they'll strip the planet bare. The crystals on Ilum are unique, and the Empire has found a way to use them to amplify cloaking systems. With enough crystals, they could build an invisible armada, an entire fleet capable of striking any Republic world without warning. Give me a breakdown of the enemy forces. Darth Arho is leading the assault. He's hitting us with everything they've got. Elite military units, mercenaries, bounty hunters, and Sith Lords. Report to the Republic space station orbiting Ilum ASAP. A shuttle will take you down to the surface. We're using the Jedi Temple as a makeshift headquarters for our operations. Meet me there and I'll give you a full briefing. Rand's out. Chechopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. is waiting for me at the Jedi Temple. I bet he's not. Darth Arho's troops have taken over the temple. Commander Rands and the others barely made it out alive. Had to set up their command post in an unsecured field. You need to speak to Commander Rands. I can take you there. Get on board and hold tight. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Good, you're here. As you can see, we need all the help we can get. Let me introduce our allies. Master Bowden of the Jedi, and Commanders Karawar, Giandar and yet Jub. No, Karawar. The attack on the temple is to distract us from Darth Arho's true goal. Just as the peace talks blinded us before the sacking of Coruscant. If we don't hit them at the temple, then where do we strike? The Imperials want Ilum's crystals. They're using deep miners to drill into the planet's core. The excavations leave massive sinkholes. The entire world's becoming unstable. If we don't stop them, Ilum could literally crack in two. Mem amgap kugap, kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. After you've cleared each mine, call us and we'll send reinforcements in to hold the area. This base doesn't seem very secure. Maybe you and the other commanders should retreat to one of the ships in orbit. We can't do that. The best place to oversee the efforts of our troops is right here on the surface. Stopping the deep miners won't end this. Unless we locate the Imperial Command Post, they'll figure out another way to harvest Ilum's crystals. Good idea. After you disable each deep miner, download the mine's terminal data log. Bring all the data to Agent Sam Bradbur at the Communications Center for analysis. The fate of Ilum is in your hands. May the Force be with you. Agent Bradbur, I've got the data from all the mine terminals. You Jedi types do good work. Rand's was smart to put you on this. Let me contact him while this data's decrypting. Supreme Commander Rand's here. Master Bowden is with me too. Do we have the location of the Imperial Command Center? Just got the coordinates. Looks like the orders are coming from a small Imperial base on the ground. SIS scouted it before, but didn't think it was important enough to have priority. 
with the whole planet under siege, Arho knew Republic intelligence would overlook something so minor. Doubt Darth Arho's actually there. SIS reports show he likes to stay clear while someone else handles things on the front lines. Probably put his personal apprentice in charge. Lord Loriot is every bit as cruel and ruthless as her master. SIS has a file on her. Ready to go to the lightsaber. Killed at least a dozen other Sith during her time on Korriban. Never punished for it. Arho protected Loyette. Their relationship goes deeper than Master and Apprentice. If we capture Loyette, maybe we can use her as leverage against Darth Arho. Darth Arho is consumed by the dark side. He will cast her aside when she ceases to be useful. You can try to arrest her if you think that's best. But I won't miss her if she winds up dead. Once the base is out of commission, report back to Agent Bradbury. Good luck. It's over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal apprentice. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. Sorry, but it takes more than words to make me tremble. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? It is I, Lord Loyat. Master, are you there? Did you really believe he'd risk himself to save you? <laughs> For a Sith Lord, you still have a lot to learn about the dark side. He wouldn't abandon me. This... this must be a test. Yes, a test of my strength. I will destroy you myself, and prove to my master I am worthy to serve him. Oh, I yield! I yield! The base is secure. I need a squad to take Lord Loyat into custody. But Darth Aho always claimed that Darkseid was stronger than the Light. He swore the Empire would always triumph over the Republic. He lied to me. He used me. And then he betrayed me. I am nothing but a fool. Now you see the truth. You still have to pay for your crimes against the Republic, but it's not too late to choose a different path. Thank you. Your words give me... comfort. Something I have not felt in a long, long time. Take her into custody. I need to get back. Agent Bradbury is waiting for me. Take whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go. We're mobile in five minutes. What's going on? Our host troops has raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove them off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rans. Gian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. Is this a retreat? Or is he massing troops for a counterattack? Your guess is as good as mine. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. If we storm the temple, Darth Aho might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack. We can't afford to lose Rans too. Mem amgap kugap. Kramanik. Umka kiga mayamak. Arho will be guarding against a direct assault. But I could sneak into the temple without him knowing. <laughs> Smashing your head against a problem isn't the only way to solve it. Sometimes you need a plan. Alam Giga Akapa. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Maldus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I be providing Supreme Commander Rans information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same. You were in charge of the prison where they were holding Revan. You tried to kill me. Much has changed since we last met. The Empire is in disarray. The war is over. You won. If we continue to fight, you will destroy us. I have accepted our new place in the galaxy. Darth Aho has not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive, if the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. 
openly opposing Aho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council. But by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. You're a Sith. You use lies and deception to get what you want. I'm only here to provide information. Whether you choose to use it is up to you. Come on, Nemega, Nagaka. Manalak Laki, Nabi Nekamaraka. They're holding him in a secret POW camp. The perimeter is ringed with droid defender security towers. Any breach will set off the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp, and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. This could be a trap, but I think it's worth the risk. <laughs> I can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. I know you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name! Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some hologram... There are nine levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Let's see if you have the guts to stand up to someone who can fight back. Ah, the hypocritical code of the Jedi Knight. You condemn our tactics, yet you took the life of my apprentice. And for that, you must suffer. You abandoned her when she called on you for help. She had to prove herself. She knew the price of failure. Now you will earn the price of defying me. Destroy him! Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by his screams of torment! They can't hurt you anymore. They've done enough already. Wait, what was that? Someone coming down the hall. Arho must have sent reinforcements. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. You made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. We're on the same side, Commander. I know you'd have done the same for me. I know we'd try, but nobody else can do what you do. So do us all a favor and try not to get captured. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Dark Arho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. The battlefield's not secure. Landing ships here gives us a chance to take out his entire fleet. Only if you know where to find them. Aho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Aho grows suspicious. Figures. As soon as there's any risk to himself, our ally leaves us out in the cold. He's a servant of the dark side. 
Self-preservation will always be his first priority. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. I came here to stop Darth Arho. Might as well let me finish the job. I'd send someone else if I could. But Karawar and Gian Dar are leading all available troops against key Imperial installations. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. You're just in time. We're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the Temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built centuries ago. We need you to infiltrate the Temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. What about our man on the inside? Is he gonna help? No recent contact. Malgus seems to have disappeared. But at least we know his followers aren't supporting our home. I know the temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the armory equipment. I won't sacrifice lives just so I can get my hands on some Imperial weapons. Then we'll engage Darth Arho's Sith followers, while the rest of the troops take on the Imperial soldiers. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Jub. I share their pain, but the Temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the Temple will be a lot harder without air support. Those artifacts could turn out to be useful in our war against the Empire. We can't risk having them destroyed. You heard the Jedi, Bradbur. Keep the Sullustans grounded. Copy that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. I should have known they'd send a Jedi to retake the temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. You keep rising up, I'm just gonna keep smacking you down. And you must not leave Ilum alive. Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. The names of all who gave their lives on Ilum will never be forgotten. I know as a Jedi you expect no reward, but I want to give you something for your efforts to save the artifacts inside the Jedi Temple. Kalam Jemrani Naya. Nimkiri.
Commander, you read me? Just picked up a transmission from Darth Malgus. Malgus is dangerous. Darth Arho out of the picture. It won't be long before he starts looking for a new enemy. Sounds like his search is over. You better take a lesson. I intercepted this message as it was being broadcast across all standard Imperial communications channels. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire. Open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. I suspected he'd betray us, but this is something else. The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Serebin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. I'll say this for Darth Malgus. He's got charisma. That's what makes him so dangerous. If he unites the surviving Imperial commanders, this war will start up all over again. I know I've asked too much of you already. But we have to take Darth Malgus out. And soon. I defeated the Emperor. There's no way I'll let some wannabe take his place. Don't underestimate him. He wouldn't have made this power play if he didn't have the strength to back it up. I must confer with our top military minds. Equip yourself for battle, then hurry to join our meeting. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. <laughs>